मिटालिक बॉन्ड इलेक्ट्रॉन सी तीवरी और इलेक्ट्रॉन गेस तीवरी एंड वाई मेटल्स आर मिलियबल एंड डक्टाइल बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेक्चर क्लिक ऑन द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड गेट एक्सेस टू आर हंड्रेड ऑफ कंसेप्चुअल लेक्चर फॉर फ्री Firstly let me teach you the basic concept of chemical bonds consider table salt water and pure iron sheet we know that table salt contains ionic bond water contains covalent bond and iron sheet contains metallic bond the smallest unit of ionic compound is formula unit like nacl Ionic bond is formed when sodium loses one electron and chlorine gains one electron. As a result of this, a single formula unit of table salt is formed like NaCl. Hence we say that all sodium and chlorine atoms in the table salt are joined together by losing and gaining of electrons. Now the smallest unit of covalent bond is a molecule like H2O. Covalent bond is formed when oxygen atom share its two electrons with each hydrogen atom. As a result of this mutual sharing of electrons, a single molecule of water is formed. Hence all these water molecules are joined together due to covalent bond. Therefore remember that ionic bond is formed by transferring of electrons and covalent bond is formed by mutual sharing of electrons now in the metallic bond the smallest unit is an atom like this iron atom metallic bond is neither formed by transferring of electrons nor by mutual sharing of electrons then how these all iron atoms are joined together chemically well there are different theories that explain the metallic bonding but the most common is electron c theory or electron gas theory let consider a pure iron sheet according to electron c or gas theory this single atom of iron will lose its two valence electrons within the sheet The iron atom has lost its two valence electrons and will become double positively charged. Similarly, this iron atom will lose its two valence electron and will become double positively charged. This iron atom will also lose its two valence electron and will become double positively charged. This process of losing valence electrons would continue until all the atoms of iron sheet will lose their valence electrons and will become positive ions. So the structure of iron sheet will be like this after losing electrons. The positive charge you see is the ion of iron and all these lost electrons will form a sea of electrons or clouds of electrons around these positive ions we know that positive and negative charges attract each other due to electrostatic force hence there is electrostatic force among all positive ions of iron and the sea of electrons let me repeat it there is electrostatic force among all positive ions of iron and the sea of electrons This electrostatic force acts as a metallic bond and hold together all the atoms of iron. Note down that these lost electrons do not belong to any individual atom. Rather they form a cloud or sea of electrons and the letters. Secondly, these electrons are called delocalized electron because they move freely within the iron sheet or letters. so they are also good conductor of heat and electricity due to free electrons metallic bond exist in all metals like zinc copper gold etc therefore remember that metallic bond is formed due to the electrostatic force between sea of electrons and positive ions finally let me teach you that why metals are called malleable and ductile Well, malleability of metal means that they can be deformed or molded into different shapes. 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल गोल्ड इज द मोस्ट मिलियबल मेटल इट कैन बी ट्रांसफॉर्म एन टू डिफरेंट ज्वेलरीज दिस प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ मेटल इज कॉल्ड मेलियबिलिटी सेकेंडली डक्टेलिटी ऑफ मेटल्स मीन दैट दे कैन बी ड्रॉन एन टू वायर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल कॉपर इज यूज टू मेक वायर्स फॉर द फ्लो ऑफ करंट दिस प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ मेटल्स इज कॉल्ड डक्टेलिटी This was all about metallic bond and electron C theory.